two, three, four. Ryan. This week's feature lesson is another 12 bar blues in the key A. A little lesson, a little concept lesson if you will, kind of how to improvise in the key of A using some licks and phrases and such. I have one for the key of E as well and I have a few other blues lessons. I'm adding more and more these days. Um, you can check that out at the site but um, so this week I did you know key of A 12 bar blues shuffle and I talk about you know how to use um, some certain scales and positions and so you can start soloing the key of A and a lot of it's of course using the A minor pentatonic a little bit of major stuff as well but um, all in those you know in the minor and the major the pentatonic stuff okay and I also have a separate clip um, going over the shapes that I'll be using okay there's one right there and of course you may be familiar with this one, right? I'm up on the fifth fret here. So I'm gonna be talking about, I'll break those down in a separate clip, just kind of talk about how, you know, where I drew the licks from, um, you know, what I think about when I'm improvising, using those two shapes and connecting them. In that first little phrase there, I connect them, right? I connect this shape up to here. Then, and I talk about how to connect this shape with this, there's a little box here as well. Okay, so three little shapes that kind of is, you know, go across the fretboard a little bit for you. So I go over all that, and uh, if you'd like to purchase the full length lesson, you can click the link above or below. This is just a preview here, what you're watching. And shoot you under my website, and there you can check out purchasing the full length version, and it'll come with uh, PDF tabs. Uh, about 30 minutes of video and three backing tracks and actually the backing track you saw at the beginning was the middle one I have one a little faster but I kind of like to uh, show it at a little slower tempo um, this time around and if you really like the way I approach learning and uh, teach and you like my song selection and, and so forth you feel like I might be a good fit for learning the guitar and uh, you're a good instructor you can click the link above or below and you can learn about being a member at the site and access everything I got over 300 lessons now at the site and you can access everything for a yearly or monthly fee. Um, I put come out with a new lesson every week. And uh, yeah, that's the deal. You can check all that out. For now, we're going to go ahead and break this down a little bit, measure for measure. I'm going to bring the camera on in, put the tabs up on the screen, and we'll break down the first few measures of the 12 bar blues in A. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's start breaking down 12 bar blues in the key of A here. And uh, I'm just going to hop right in the lesson, but I do have a video. And I will have a video um, about the couple of the scale positions that I'm using um, and how I'm connecting them. So that'll just be like a little separate video clip um, about the scales. Yeah, again, the scales I'm using um, and how I thought about connecting them and you know somewhat how I arranged the tune or the lesson. Okay. So the first few measures I'm going to play for you, and then I'll break them down. Again, there's pick directions on the bottom. Now, sometimes in the blues, we can kind of, uh, quote unquote, break the rules for uh, picking directions. I have there what feels really natural to me. A lot of times people just do down a lot of downstrokes the whole time. But um, you can kind of experiment and see what feels best. So they are a little bit optional today. <laughs> so here's the first few measures. So one, two, ready, go. That's, a, that's those three measures exactly. It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, one and two are darn near exactly the same as three and four. Okay, so it's kind of like phrase one, phrase two, and they're darn near the same. So, but I'll do it again. Ready, go. All right. 
So again, we're starting on um, the fifth fret of the high E here, and we got four eighth notes to start it off. One and two and, and of course we're swinging everything. Um, you know, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. That's swinging the eighth notes. And of course we're gonna have a triplet feel, and um, we're gonna play triplets, but everything's kind of getting that shuffle, that triplet feel as well. Um, they kind of go together. Um, the triplet and the, the swinging the eighth notes um, might be a, a little confusing if you're not too familiar with it, but just know we're gonna be swinging those eighth notes and we're gonna be doing some triplets as well. Um, okay, and then we got triplet. So five, three, and then five on the B. And we got another triplet here, and I'm gonna start it on an upstroke. Four, three, pull off on the B, and then five on the G string. Maybe a double up there is what I have written again. Could be a down, double down as well. Um, when you get to doing back to back triplets, you're going to, if you're doing alternate picking, you're going to find that you're going to double up pick strokes if you do alternate picking with triplets okay you can do yeah you, know, you could do all down strokes as well okay and that would certainly work i'm so in the groove of doing alternate picking that i often will do that so i have to just be a little conscious myself so our first measure ready go that second half of the bar I'm using my first and third fingers the whole time triple it triple it down up down up up um, and I kind of start with a little slide some of these little slides uh, that are kind of like quick slides aren't always marked on my tablature and you know they're kind of optional of course they do give it a little more you know a little more sass a little more authority um, but they're not necessary as well, but you know, they do create a little bit more energy. So I kind of start with the slide on that fifth fret high E, right? One and two and triple the triple lid. All right, and then, um, the next measure is, oh. a different position there in the A minor pentatonic. So I got three to five hammer. It's a quick hammer. It's 16th notes there. Okay, so it's quick. It's not... Okay, I do that a lot in some of my lessons, but here we got a 16th note, a little bit, again, a little more authority with the, you know, my tone, my plane. And then back to third fret. And then my third finger is going to shoot up to the seventh fret on the G. Okay. And then fifth fret G. And then seventh fret D string. And that's an A note right there. There's tonic. There's home. And then I do a do a slide here. Pick and slide at the same time. You gotta get right on that seventh fret. Then five, seven on that. And that's a half note. That circle around the seven is a half note, two counts. So there'll be a little space there. Um, on the fast practice track, it won't quite sound like that. I mean, it won't seem as long as space or a hold, but three, four. Three, four. All right, and then measure three is exactly like measure one, like I kind of mentioned earlier. It's the exact same thing. So I'll be, I'll be right here with my third finger. So I do kind of have it, it, you know, I might leave that note a little early to get to the fifth fret on the high E, right? Because it's kind of a, a little bit of a jump or a shift, right? Four. That measure, that measure, measure three. All right, so I put those three measures together again, a little more in context. Here they are, 
Notice how I kind of kind of slid down and just a little effect, right? Just a little something, a little more sass on there. You know, um, so it's just a little effect. You know, electric players do it all the time. Um, three, four. So see how that timing worked out? Again, not as ne not necessary but can add uh, some, you know, nice little embellishments uh, or little energy to your playing. All right, so the next two measures, they sound like. 